Everyone has to live somewhere, and everyone has to invest their money someplace. So what happens when where you live meets up with where your money is invested? Hello, real estate. Welcome back to Good Money Real Estate. I'm Elise Blank. Here's your daily update. I got a question recently on how to determine the value of a commercial property purchased before the housing bubble burst. So my reader has a balloon loan that's coming due, and she needs to know the best way to find a qualified independent commercial real estate appraiser after the bank's appraiser knocked down the value of the property to a third of what it was when they first made the loan. Here's my answer. The operative word here is that you're looking for a commercial, and I'm using quotes around that, and not a residential real estate appraiser. So let's start at the top. You have to separate what you borrowed from what your commercial or investment property is worth today, and that's a considerable difference, right? But there are several ways to value commercial property, and this is where it becomes helpful to have a commercial appraiser versus a residential appraiser. So I'd like to think that the property you own is actually income producing. If you have tenants in the property, those tenants should be paying you rent. And if they do, that income stream is one very valid method appraisers use to determine the value of a commercial property. Now another method for determining value of a commercial property is to see what it would cost to replace the building. If the cost to replace a warehouse, strip center, or office building is, let's say, a half a million dollars, that number may affect the value of the property from the lender's perspective. Finally, you also have to consider what other similar types of property you're selling for in your general area. An appraiser is going to look at all of those elements and come up with an appraised value for your commercial property. That's a very similar proposition, by the way, to a residential appraiser. That's kind of the process they follow. Now, if you've lost most of your tenants, the value of the property using the income method, that is the income that you receive from tenants, is going to obviously be low. If other properties in the area are selling at depressed prices, on top of the fact that you've lost your tenants, the appraised price based on comparative properties will also be low. The only method that could yield a, yield a higher appraisal might be what it would cost you to rebuild your property. So you have to ask yourself how other properties like yours are valued in the area. And you have to have an idea of the income and the expenses that you have in the property. And if you know these facts, you can probably get a better idea of what to expect from a commercial appraisal. And it could be, and I hate to say this because it's kind of negative, <laughs> the initial appraisal that you received is actually on the mark and paying for another one. And by the way, that's a lot more than with a residential one, residential appraisal, paying for another one may not help you much. On the other hand, if you know that your property generates positive income and you have a good idea of the real estate values in your area, you might believe that the current appraisal the bank received is really off. So at that point, you ought to have a conversation with your lender about the appraisal, the process, and then try and give the bank more information about your property. Your loan officer sh will then decide if you should have the same appraiser reevaluate your property given the extra information or if they should hire a second appraiser to give another opinion. Now, if you insist on getting an appraisal yourself, which may or may not be useful for refinancing, you can talk to other commercial mortgage brokers in your area to get recommendations. You can find them through appraisal trade organizations such as the Appraisal Institute, and more likely you may find them by talking to commercial real estate brokers and real estate attorneys who work on uh, real estate deals in your area. Keep in mind, the bank is in no way obligated to use your appraisal. And while you have the satisfaction of knowing that your appraiser gave your property a higher value, it isn't going to go far to help you landing a refinance. So keep it in mind before you spend the cash. Thanks for your question, and thanks for watching this episode of Big Money Real Estate. Now, you can send me your real estate investing and personal finance questions on Twitter and Facebook or at questions at thinklink.com. And you should definitely check out my Intentional Investor, How to Be Wildly Successful in Real Estate series, which you can find at thinklinkstore.com or even at the Wit Nation store. And be sure to share this video with everybody you know on social media. Until next time, I'm Elise Glink.